Neil McFarlane. I'm TriMet's new general manager. A week and a day into uh, this new job, I couldn't be happier than to be here with A, some very great friends of ours and here at TriMet, but also to announce uh, with our federal partners some great new investment in our line number 72 here in the future. Um, we're at this stop here in the district of Congressman Earl Blumenauer because the Line 72 will see some great improvements over the next years thanks to our, our federal partners. You should know that this Line 72 is a real workhorse of the climate system. I'll, more about that a little bit later, but it is the second highest ridership in the system. It runs from North Portland to Clackamas Town Center and, and it carries an enormous number of people. We applied a TriMet for some federal funds to help us with some new innovative buses that would help provide service in, on this line. And uh, I'm very happy uh, to introduce Congressman Earl Blumenauer uh, first, who will actually discuss a little bit about this. Um, all of you know that Congressman Blumenauer is a great friend of TriMet and a great friend of our region, and I would say that personally as well. He clearly understands and has been working for decades on behalf of transit here in Portland. And he clearly understands the importance of these uh, investments in building our community, not just our transit system, but our community. With that, I hope you'll join me in welcoming Congressman Earl Blumenau. Well, thank you, Neil. Actually, the star here is Deputy Administrator McMillan, and I wanted to, uh, to be here to express our appreciation for the partnership with the administration and for the leadership that TriMet has existed in terms of making our communities work. Uh, behind us, we've got uh, one example. You know, there's lots of attention to light rail, to streetcar, but the backbone of the system is the bus network. And being able to lighten the carbon footprint of the buses uh, while we provide better service to the neighborhoods uh, it gives people choices in terms of how they move, how they get around, uh, how they organize their lives. And being able to do it with this new hybrid technology uh, is an important step forward. We hope that it will serve as a model that uh, FTA can uh, help replicate around the country. Uh, but it also makes a difference here just in terms of dollars and cents. Uh, TriMet is a big operation in our community. It makes a difference economically every day. And it's one of the reasons why people in Portland spend $2,500 a year less per family on transportation than the national average. That's more money that people can spend on education, on health care, on housing, uh, local restaurants, uh, quality of life. And we appreciate the partnership with the Obama administration. Administrator Rogoff has been a great friend to this community, somebody who's been involved in our decisions uh, long before he was actually the administrator. Um, the Secretary LaHood, uh, people understand what we're trying to do. They've been tremendous partners. This is one more example that helps us in terms of service, helps us in terms of the economics, and frankly, a model for the future. And we're pleased to uh, uh, Madam Deputy Administrator, to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Neil, and thank you, Congressman, uh, for inviting uh, me to be here and to make, on behalf of President Barack Obama and Secretary Ray LaHood, a $2 million award for the hybrid bus project uh, on this, this great line. So we're really delighted. I, I really can't add. Um, uh, much more to the wonderful introduction that Congressman Blumenauer uh, made in terms of articulating how important transit can be to the Portland community. Um, we believe that this is a smart investment. It's one that is going to support the economy uh, here in Portland and the surrounding regions. It's definitely part of the flagship initiative on livability that the Secretary and the Obama administration has launched. Um, and as well, the uh, uh, important elements of sustainability, hybrid um, electric buses are part of an important move toward cleaner 
um, uh, technologies in our public transit system. I think another thing that's really important about um, this project is uh, the low floor design is specifically geared toward um, assisting uh, members of the disabled community that uh, rely so much on these, these transit systems. And this is the type of um, uh, design thinking that we're very much encouraging in terms of providing services that serve all members. And so um, I just want to reiterate that this is a part of a continuum of efforts that the Obama administration is making toward economic recovery in the nation. Um, it's important to recognize that this whole idea of the hybrid bus project um, was not a top-down coming from us at the FTA. It is a brainchild of this community and what we're hoping to do throughout the administration is to listen and to be able to then help you realize the visions that are developed here at the local level and in that regard really be a partner in delivering um, you know, success stories on the ground and it looks like this is definitely, definitely going to be one of them. Um, I'd like to mention uh, during this uh, summer of, of recovery where we're acknowledging, um, you know, a, well a year into the economic um, recovery work that the Obama administration has spearheaded, that this isn't the only investment in Portland that's, that's been made. Nearly $89 million has been directed toward rail cars, alternative energy and fuel efficiency projects, facility construction. Um, there's a new west side lift facility in particular that TriMet is uh, developing to support the door-to-door -door service for uh, the elderly. Wait for a sound break here. <laughs> for um, elderly and disabled patrons. And I know that that's a, a very important project that now is getting off the ground as a result of the stimulus funds. Um, the Department of Energy has awarded City of Portland and the State of Oregon $20 million in ARA funds for residential and commercial energy retrofits. I know that's a, a very important part of the um, sustainability sensibility of this area and we're uh, uh, proud as the federal government to be a, a part of that. So again, overall, um, we are uh, very happy to be a part of, of your local leadership. Um, we're, the Obama administration is serious about economic recovery, but it's really working with you to make that happen. I want to thank uh, the congressman um, again for uh, the opportunity to be here. I hope that at one point we'll be able to have some ribbon cutting opportunities and again congratulate all you for your accomplishments. Thanks so much. I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce some very special guests we have here with us. First, I'd like to introduce Councillor Carlotta Collette, who uh, chairs our Joint Policy Advisory Committee on Transportation, as well as representing our uh, Milwaukee area on the, the Metro Council. I'd also like to introduce John Valley with uh, the office of Senator uh, Jeff Berkeley, and, and Kelly Brooks from, the, from Congressman David Wu's office. I'd also like to introduce Dr. Gatewood from our neighbor here at Portland Community College. I'd like to thank you for being here as well. We're a great partner with PCC and uh, again, one of the great advantages of the Line 72 is not only that it serves our current, the local uh, Cascade campus of PCC, but also the 82nd Avenue campus. So two campuses of the Portland Community College, major shopping areas, high schools along this line, it is indeed a major workhorse along its 17 miles. It connects to the employment zones in Swan Island and lots of other um, shopping and entertainment options along the way. It connects with the MAX line, with the MAX system in three different places. So this is an enormously important line for us and we're really, really excited to be able to have this investment going forward. So thank you, Deputy Administrator McMillan and Congressman Blumenauer for your support. And um, I'm looking forward to putting these buses in service as soon as they arrive here in Portland, Oregon. Thank you all very much for being here.